Let's talk about how the Punisher died. When Norman Osborn saved the world from the Skrull invasion and was admitted director of Hammer and director of the Avengers, he did a lot of shady things. This got Frank Castle's attention, so he tried taking out Norman Osborn, but the Sentry would end up stopping it. Sentry would then find out that it was the Punisher that took the shot, and Frank Castle would barely make it out with his life. So while in hiding, Norman Osborn would end up tracking down where he was, and as Frank Castle was waking up like any other day, his hideout would end up blowing up. But it would turn out that they missed their shot, so Norman would send out his lackeys and Dakin, the son of Wolverine, to kill the Punisher. Some of Norman's lackeys end up finding the Punisher, so a chase ensues, leading the Punisher to take to the sewers. But out of nowhere, Dakin would surprise attack the Punisher, giving Punisher no other option but to use his strongest weapons against Dakin to give a fighting chance. This would grace the Punisher with a couple seconds of time so he could get out of the sewers before Dakin would heal. But Dakin would end up catching up to the Punisher anyway, with Frank Castle saying to him, let's just get this over with. This starts a fight between Frank and Dakin, with Frank getting a couple shots in, but Dakin would get the upper hand and start to dismember the Punisher. Leaving the Punisher armless and defeated, Dakin would start taunting him, but in Punisher's inner monologue, all he could think about was his family and how he'll see them soon. So Dakin would end up chopping him up, and Norman Osborn would walk away with a little smirk on his face. But that wasn't the end of Frank Castle. 